Hi guys, let's count down the top 24 celebrity earners for 2021. This is going to be interesting because this covers movie, film, and producing, all of that stuff. So let's start with Taylor Swift, 1989. So she has dropped new music and she's earning money off of new music, old music, concerts and tours. So she comes in at number 25 with $52 million. We have Blake Shelton you know country music you know he has also uh, you know his television um, shows and all of that stuff and so he comes in at 55 million number 24 and now you know oldies but goodies the beach boys you know you know these guys are still earning a lot of money the boomers are still spending money on concerts and and different things so they come in at number 23 at 64 million now motley crew now they come in at number 22 earning 72 million dollars you know these rockers as we said the boomers and the older gen xers they're still spending money with these with these bands so good stuff for motley crew 21 we have lindsey buckingham from fleetwood mac he was the male lead singer you know these guys are still earning money off the rights of their songs so he comes in at 73 million dollars for 20 greg berlanti now he is a writer and producer you know oldies but goodies like dawson creek you know newer stuff like R riverdale chilling adventures of sabrina so yes he came in you know at number 20 can't forget neil young very controversial you know he's in the news currently with spotify and all of that threatening to pull his music so he comes in at number 19 with 80 million dollars and these guys are, as we said are earning a lot of money off the rights of their songs and touring and all of that stuff then at number 18 we have shonda rhimes you know you know producer of bridgerton on netflix you know she's the only black woman on the list um but she comes in at number 18 with 81 million dollars good job shonda and at number 17, Kevin Bright, Marta Kaufman, and David Crane. We all know Friends. I'll be there for you. So these guys, these trio are the producers of Friends and they're still earning residuals. So $82 million coming in at number 17. Then who could forget Howard Stern? Our number one shock jock. Um, still earning the money. You know, Howard Stern coming at number 16 with $85 million then there is dick wolf oh my god svu lawn the lawn order all of that stuff so dick wolf you know number 15 at 86 million dollars then one of my favorite rappers when i was in my teenage years sean sean diddy combs i don't know when he stopped calling himself puffy but anyhow he comes in at number 14 at 90 million dollars Number 13 is Chuck Lorre. Now, Saturday Night Live, Big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon. Come on, this guy it produces so many comedies, so many things. You know, so he comes in at number 13 with $100 million earned in 2021. Come to the highest paid woman, Reese Witherspoon, beautiful woman. And so she, you know, she also sold a part of a company to get her here. But, you know, she comes in at number 12 with $115 million. You know, if you grew up in the late 80s and 90s, who could forget Red Hot Chili Peppers? You know, that rock band. So they're coming in at number 11 with $116 million. Rock on. Older folks will remember Bob Dylan. As we said, that baby boomer money is still flowing in into concerts and, and different merchandise and rights to songs. So Bob Dylan comes in at number 10 with $130 million then comes songwriter ryan tedder at number 960 million now this guy is busy you know he wrote songs like for halo halo for beyonce songs for adele one republic you know not many people know his name but he writes a lot of songs and owns the rights to many of these songs so 160 million coming in at number nine number eight is Medea. now most of the money that um tyler perry is earning coming at number eight at 165 million he built a built a massive studio in atlanta and this studio is generating so much cash so he is 165 million dollars number eight number seven is paul simon now paul simon um you know wrote a lot of songs sings a lot of songs and uh, same thing boomer generation so he's earned a lot of money so he number seven at 200 million dollars paul simon number six is a south park creators trey parker and matt stone coming at 210 million 
Who knew South Park could make so much money? 210 million. Oh, good for you guys. Then at number five, our billionaire man of mystery, Kanye West. Now, he came in with 235 million and number five most the, the large portion of this is from his contract with adidas for his yeezy you know his royalty on his yeezy um shoes and brand and you know you know next year we're expecting gap the gap money to come in but he's right now he's number five at 235 million dollars then next up is Dwayne the rock johnson now you know you know he has been doing a lot of stuff he, you know it's mainly his movies and you know he's you know you see he's releasing you know alcohol and all of that liquor and all of that stuff so you know he's doing well coming at number four at 270 million dollars number three is jay-z at 340 million now a large part of this was the sale of Tidal that he made to jack dorsey some part during the year so, but um yeah you know he's doing well you know 340 million dollars although it's a one-time sale so let next year we'll see more of his recurring income and at number two is the blue collar rocker bruce springsteen now if you grew up in if you grew up in the 80s you knew about bruce springsteen as we said this is the boomer money coming in or the older gen xers and so he comes in at number two with 435 million dollars whoa that's great bruce number one is peter jackson you know he is the producer and director of lord of the rings the hobbit series so he has a special effects company and so he sold that in 2021 so this is a lot a large part of this is one time in income he became a billionaire this in 2021 so he comes in at number one with 580 million dollars so that rounds out the list thanks folks